Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It is that time of month. I'm going to go over my monthly favorites for the month of July. We have some makeup, we have some jewelry, we have some workout clothes, we got some good stuff. So if you wanna see, then just keep watching. First and foremost, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video. For the last couple of months, I have been featuring different jewelry lines. In the last year, I've really gotten into more boutique small business jewelry brands. Before, I was just buying a lot of jewelry from fast fashion places and the jewelry was breaking all of the time. They are a New York based jewelry company. And as I was looking into their company, what's really cool about the brand is their sustainability. One fact that they sent through to me. It takes 20 tons of earth mining to produce a single ring of gold and cheap jewelry is rarely recyclable, making it a huge waste. So Ana Luisa actually uses 100% recycled gold and silver for their pieces. So that is amazing. And apparently their quality comes from the same jewelers as Tiffany and Louis Vuitton. I'm just saying. They do also offer complete complimentary one year warranty on their pieces. Their prices for what they are are definitely run pretty good. They have a range starting from $49. They do have some finer jewelry as well. That's gonna cost you a little bit more. Anyways, let me show you the pieces. I've been wearing them throughout my recent videos. You guys have been asking. I have all of the necklaces layered, but I actually chose a necklace set. So it's gonna be this necklace and then this necklace right here. So you get two with the set. This is the Sylvia set, so it has a cute little moon. I love the little beading detail along the necklace chain and then this one. And they just fit perfectly. They're the perfect length for each other. And for those of you who like layered jewelry but may not know where to start, this is a good way to go buying a set. This necklace right here though, I think is my favorite. This is the Alyssa necklace. I don't have a necklace like this in my collection, so it is really cool to layer with all of my already existing necklaces and you guys really love this necklace when I wore it alone in my video layering it's really cute I love this one it's so unique I don't have a necklace like this equally obsessed with these huggies that I have here so these are called the Celeste huggies so they have these little encrusted diamonds so cute and one side is a little star the other side is a moon they are so adorable and so well made like it has a pool clasp and it really clasps like sometimes I gotta pull a little bit harder than I would like but anyways if you're looking for a cool jewelry boutique to support, they did provide me with a 10% off code. It is MorganT10 for 10% off. I mean, use it if you would like to. You don't have to. Let's get into the beauty. So I have one foundation for you guys that I have really been enjoying and this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. Now this for me, it's not like a groundbreaking foundation. It's not in one of my favorite foundations. However, I just like it because it is so easy to just throw on. It's a foundation that is reliable. It looks good. You only need a little bit of product and I just feel like it's nice. I don't feel bad using it because it's more more affordable at $16, which is a bit pricey, I would say, for ColourPop. But overall, it's a very reliable foundation. It's definitely the best I've tried from this line. The only thing I would really say is if you have like pores in your skin or a lot of texture, definitely use a pore filling primer because this does a terrible job of filling in pores. But other than that, I really like it. It's very comfortable on the skin. It's very middle of the road, meaning it's not too dewy, but it's not too matte. It's not too full coverage, but it's not light coverage either. So it's kind of just every Everything in the middle kind of foundation so I've been liking it I've been reaching for it a lot this month so I only have a couple eyeshadow palettes to show you for this month which is crazy I just feel like not a lot of palettes came out last month so I wasn't really moved by a lot of new eyeshadow palettes so this is one of the few months where I only tried like five or six new palettes I have been loving though the Odin's Eye Soul Main eyeshadow palette now I did do a couple sponsored videos with them so this last month I've actually been really using the heck out of their products just obviously to make sure I love the products for the sponsorship which I do no sponsorships from them going on in this video I'm talking about these on my own free will um, but I love these I love the brand itself because it's based on Nordic mythology kind of 
ethereal like and I just love that but the Somain palette has really won my heart over the past few weeks I've done a lot of colorful looks meaning I played with this purple everywhere it's beautiful I did an awesome look with this green shade and today I use this palette and I actually kept it pretty neutral kind of my typical simple everyday gold eye so I love this palette because I have the ability to create that everyday look that I'm very comfortable with that I do all the time but there also are options in here to really make it fun and amp up the look the brand has a lot of glitter fun texture dimensional shadows that you can put on the eye I'm just I've really been liking their stuff what can I say today what I did I started off with this vanilla shade and I put it just below my brow bone and then I was going for more of a warm look today I always wear warm but I say I prefer cool so <laughs> I don't know but I did use this orange as my crease shade everywhere it was really nice and then I used the dark chocolate brown to define everything this brown really builds on itself well while still being able to blend out very easily very impressed with this I used my finger and just used this simple gold shade all over my lid very creamy shimmer shades they definitely pack a lot of punch on the eye and they feel so soft and so easy to apply and then I also used a little bit of this color right here on the center of my lid for a little bit of extra pop and then finally I used this shade right here it's a very sparkly golden shade and I applied that to my inner corner just to brighten everything up so that is what I use this palette for today I did an amazing look with this in my Odin's eye brand overview they also have this Alva eyeshadow palette I wasn't gonna put this in my favorites but <laughs> this one is also a really great palette you get a complete different variety of colors in this one and I did do a three looks one palette if you are interested in seeing some more looks you can create but these two palettes from Odin's eye I've been using and abusing all month I've really been enjoying my experience with these the other eyeshadow palette that I have to talk about I feel weird bringing this back up again but the Natasha Denona bronze so actually this came out at the end of the last month so I didn't feel like I had it long enough to justify putting it in that month's favorites because it came out like just before that I've talked about this a lot I've done a three looks one palette I've talked about how much I love it already but it didn't feel right not to put it in my favorites because it didn't quite get the chance to make it last month obviously I've had it for a month and then some and I really do love this palette it's colors that I'm very comfortable with the only thing that I would say that I don't like about this palette is that you are kind of limited ish in the looks that you can create I feel like the three looks one palette video that I did the looks were kind of similar definitely in the same tone and that's okay because I do really genuinely enjoy the color story of this palette the quality of it's amazing but you are limiting yourself to only bronze looks so if bronze isn't your color then this isn't your palette of course I do love bronze gold neutral eyes so I have been liking this palette a lot I love all the colors in here they're great quality I've talked about this palette enough but I really like it oh I forgot to show you guys this eye primer before I talked about eyeshadows I've been using the Kaleidos tone activator eye primer for quite some time now and I really like it because it's so lightweight now I don't have a problem with wear time on my eyelids I find that shadows last pretty long on my eyes so that's not a concern of mine but I love this because it's so thin it's a little bit watery so that does cause kind of a mess in the tube itself because it just falls out everywhere don't squeeze this because so much product comes out and you only need a little bit so I just kind of when I open it rub whatever's on here on my eyelids and a lot of times that's still too much but I, what I like about it is it's so thin it doesn't feel like thick like a MAC paint pot does on my eyelid it still has just a touch of coverage to cover the veins on my eyelid and I just think shadows blend on it fine I love how it easily it spreads over the eye but gives you just a little bit of coverage so this is the eye primer that I've been using for a while now and I've really been enjoying it if you look in my description box. I've literally been wearing this bronzer every opportunity that I could. And this is the Gucci powder bronzer. She's really expensive, but oh so worth it worth every penny now I did have a bit of a struggle finding the perfect shade for me because their shade range straight up was whack they did not do a good job that was easy for a consumer to understand their color range I started off with the shade 2 and shade 2 is crazy dark shade 3 is actually lighter than shade 2 if you want the comparisons between shades 1 2 and 3 check out testing new makeup products video that I did I just watched all three so you could see but alas shade Shade 1 is my favorite. I've been using it non-stop. So this is a scented product, but I love it. It just smells so luxurious to me. So that for me is part of the experience. As soon as I open it up, 
it begins with the scent, which I love. And then when you apply it, it, this is what I'm wearing. It's just so smooth. The number one is a very good color on me. It's a little bit more cool or like pink than I would prefer, but it blends out beautifully. The quality is fantastic. And if I do want a little bit more warmth, shade three adds some goldenness. That's in my mom's collection, but if I do want to change up the tone a little bit, but overall, this has been a really great everyday bronzer. And I think with the sun being out, my skin naturally turns a little bit more pink. So the bronzer isn't as unflattering as I thought it would be. This bronzer is the bomb, you guys. I love it. And then blush, again, this is another one of the products that kind of came out a few days before I filmed my favorites so I didn't quite yet want to pop it in there but the Patrick Ta she's that girl cream and powder blush duo Ooh, I love this he did restock on his other colors I decided to wait until a Sephora VIB sale to pick up the other colors that I want because I do love this product so much that I want to pick up more colors but I do have the pink one I wore today it doesn't really go with my makeup look but I wanted to demo it with you guys I do love the cream product I love wearing the cream blush by itself you don't need the powder he does suggest that you actually put the powder down first and then the cream on top it'll give you a more natural look personally I still prefer to put cream down first and then powder it works great either way but that's just how I prefer to do it you can wear the powder alone as well and I think he came out with such a beautiful formula I've really been enjoying the application of this the color of this and I can't wait to try other colors out so been wearing this a lot this past month I also discovered this is random we're moving back to eyes but the duo brush on adhesive in dark so I always use the clear adhesive because black adhesive scares me because sometimes you know I get a little bit of glue everywhere all over my eye and I figured it was time to just try out dark see what I could do with it and I do really like it I still feel the need to have a clear glue just the regular clear glue in my collection but this is nice especially if I have a thick liner on because this really does not show the clear shininess that sometimes the clear one does have. So if I'm wearing a pretty thick black liner, I'll use the black because it is more imperceptible on the lash line when you put false lashes on. So I've been liking this, thought I'd throw that in there. It's a new kind of thing that I've tried out. Setting spray, I hate to admit it, but man. I am loving the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I do have a drier skin type. This is not a moisturizing setting spray. It actually like sets your makeup. It's crazy. I was actually watching Wayne Goss's video on this and it's crazy. He sprayed his hand with this. He put a shadow on top and then he sprayed his hand with this again and the shadow was not budging. It's crazy. This actually really like it sets your makeup you guys. I don't use it on my skin first, apply makeup and then spray it again because I feel like that's way too drying on my skin. I don't like that. But even when I spray it after my makeup is done, I do feel it setting. Like your face feels a little bit tight. Not uncomfortably so, but it's kind of satisfying because it feels like it's working. I do feel like it makes my makeup last longer and it also almost kind of finishes my skin, smooths it out a little bit ever so slightly because it is a spray at the end of the day. But this does something with my makeup and I really, really like it. So this is my new like event night out kind of setting spray and I love the scent of it as well. Wayne Goss did not like the scent of this. I think it smells really nice. I like it a lot. So oh, this is so good you guys. I normally like a more moisturizing set my makeup in kind of setting spray but if I want to keep my makeup on she is so good. A couple of lip products that I've been loving. So again, back to Odin's Eye. I'm so annoying. I just really have been enjoying their products. But they're matte lip stains you guys. If you are a mask wearer, these are amazing. So there are six shades. I don't know why I only have five, but if you want to see a lip swatch of all of these, check out my full brand review. I do put these on my lips. They're a lip stain. They kind of give that blurred lip effect. You're not going to get like a liquid lipstick effect with these. And even though they're matte, they're not too drying. But what I like is you only need the tiniest bit of product to apply to your lips. You use your finger to blend it out. And it does give that blurred look, but if you're wearing a mask, nobody can see it. And it doesn't transfer onto the mask, which I find crazy. Of course, if you layer a super thick amount on it will give a little bit of transfer but if you're looking for something to give your lips a nice tint so you don't look crazy when you take your mask off that's going to stay and that is also going to not transfer onto your mask I really recommend these a lot I don't wear makeup with my masks I try not to as much as I can but obviously times have come where I had makeup on and I need to throw a mask on and these have been amazing I think if we didn't live in the world that we lived in today where we didn't have to wear masks I don't know that I would have loved these as much but just 
Given the current climate, those are really good. Those are gems for me. Um, I've also been really into these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. I have two colors. This one is Chai Genius and then Carmel Collector. I'm currently wearing Carmel Collector. So these are from their coffee collection and I've said this a couple of times, but these don't actually smell like coffee to me. They smell like syrup to me, but either way, I dig it. I like it. I've never tried this formula from Maybelline before, but I actually really do like it. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person. But I have to admit, I love the full opacity and just full control of being able to shape my lips however I want. These are not super drying and I would suggest, of course, using as thin of a layer as possible because as you build it up, it's going to get more uncomfortable, it's going to get more drying. But I love the color of these, I love the way they smell and if I can apply just a little bit of product, these are not bothersome to me. They're not really drying and I hardly feel them. So there have been times though where I've built up too much product and I did get that uncomfortable liquid lipstick feeling so these aren't, you know game changers by any means, but I really like the colors. They're very everyday friendly if you're into nudes and they smell good. It's just an overall good experience. Last product as far as makeup. The other product from Patrick Ta that I've been enjoying is his new lipstick formula. This is the first time he came out with a bullet lipstick. I got Oshi Single and this is just my kind of color. It didn't go with the particular blush color that I got, but this is just the perfect nude for me. I'm very, very comfortable with this color of nude. It's a little bit peachy, more muted. And then the packaging, of course, is like really, really stunning. So I've been liking his lipstick formula a lot. I think he did a good job. Where are these made? These are made in the USA. A more matte kind of formula, but they still feel a little bit creamy. And I've been liking his lipstick formula. I don't know that I would buy other colors because my lipstick collection lately has kind of been overwhelming me, but I am happy I tried out his formula. Uh, that's the end of makeup. So if you're not interested in anything else, feel free to get out of here. I have a hair product that I've been loving. This is the original Turby Twist Super Absorbent Hair Towel. So these are microfiber towels. I've been using a t-shirt to dry my hair out of the shower because regular towels are supposed to make your hair really frizzy. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I have very, very frizzy hair naturally. And it also has some curl to it. And my whole head is a ball of frizz. So I've been using t-shirts to kind of deplete that a little bit and I finally stepped it up and I got this. So it, like I said, microfiber, so it's better for your hair. Okay, it's hard because my hair is dry, but you would go like this. <laughs> Get ready, y'all. You collect the hair in here, it goes in easier naturally if your hair is wet, but then, and then I, <laughs> I look ridiculous. I'm embarrassing. But it has a little hook and yeah. Point being, I got a two pack off of Ulta and these have been game changers for me out of the shower because normally what I would do as soon as I get out of the shower, like I have to tend to my hair. I have to brush it, style it, put my creams in, all of that just to reduce frizziness, like put the product in before any frizz had the chance to release. So these have been great because now I can just get out of the shower, put that on and sit for a little bit, lay in bed and then go <laughs> and style my hair. I recommend those. Now my hair is like crazy but I'll put the pack down that I picked up. We're almost here. So I've been buying so much workout wear, it's quite embarrassing. I've had the same workout wear since I was literally a freshman in high school. Like I'm wearing the same workout clothes that I wore to field hockey practice. <laughs> uh, so I've completely revamped my workout wear just because one, to motivate me for at home workouts since there was no more gym. Uh, I got a Peloton. I wanted some cute Peloton outfits that nobody would see me in. So Fabletics, life changing for me. So I got this super cute maroon set. It's in the wash, but I'll show you a picture of it now. Love it. Super Cute. What I love most is that they have length for the leggings. I am only like 4'10". So legging lengths is huge for me and their length is good. And then this maroon set is just adorable. I also got this set of bra tops. They're sports bras. So this first one is like a cami bra tank. For those of you who are members this month, from what I've seen, I don't know if it's still available, but they do have this same bra set, but in different colors. So this is a pink one and you don't need to wear a sports bra with it because this is the sports bra and it's really cute and flattering and I mean I have very small 
chest, but this does a good job of keeping it in and has adjustable straps. I'm a small girl, so adjustable straps are always the move for me. And then this one is super cute. Now this is a halter top. I love this. Now, <laughs> I can't work out on this because the girls would be like showing to everybody just the way that this is. However, it's so cute. I've been wearing it just like day to day, not even as like a sports bra, just a cute outfit. So that's my Fabletics order this past month that I've been wearing. If you would like to join Fabletics, I say this every time, but <laughs> make sure you make your biggest order when you become a member because the deals that you get there are the best and you won't get them ever again. I will have my referral linked down below. I do get, what do I get? I think they send me like a small gift card to use and uh, if you want to help a PE teacher get a new outfit, even though I'm not going into school this year, <laughs> then I would appreciate it if you go through my link. Okay, anyways, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for collaborating with me on this video. Like I said, if you do pick anything up, I do have that code for you. Don't feel obligated to use it, but just take a look at the website. I mean, sustainability, good quality products, super cute. You'll love it. Okay. Bye guys. I will see you in the next one.